Hello everyone, welcome to the show. My name is Amanda Ostrander. I am a teacher turned homeschool mom, and this is Raising A to Z, a YouTube channel all about homeschooling. And Zoe, where are we going today? Science Center. We're going to the Science Center. So come with us. So today is our monthly trip to the Science Center. We have a homeschool membership, and so today, they have a full like homeschool programming day for us. So once a month, one Monday a month, we get to go and do all kinds of things. So both kids have like a class that they're going to. I think Zoe's doing nutrition, like food guide stuff. I don't know what, I don't remember what Alexi's doing, but we'll figure it out when we get there. And there's some activities and there's going to be a whole bunch of homeschoolers to hang out with. So we're gonna do that. Before we go, um, Alexi, yeah. you have boots yeah. and you have running shoes. Zoe, do you have your boots on? No. Okay, so you need to put your boots on and you need to pack your running shoes. Oh, my insides? Yes, your insides. Good? Okay. I'm gonna get a few things ready to go to. While they're getting ready, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. Um, yesterday, before I went to bed, I prepped a crock pot meal. So I put that in the crock pot because we're gonna be gone pretty much all day. That way I don't have to worry about dinner when we get home. So I have, what do I have? I have a beef uh, tenderloin roast with some potatoes and some um, onion, garlic, rosemary, salt and pepper, a little bit of beef stock. That's gonna go in the crock pot for a couple of hours till we get home, basically eight hours on low. And then yesterday I also packed our lunches. So if you're ever wondering when you see my lunch videos, these are the kind of days that we're getting ready for. Um, so I have water bottles for everyone. I have a whole bunch of lunches. And now we're ready to go because, which is a good thing, is uh, kind of slept in so everything's ready and we can just like run out the door because we literally need to leave like right now so we're gonna go do you make it yeah Lexi did we make it yeah but we gotta go because it's gonna start in like five minutes so let's go to the science center You're not pushing it hard enough. Top. You want to make sure that it stays nice and 
So I'm currently sitting in the toddler area because that's where my kids like to play. Um, so how we did this morning, they had classes. I thought that Zoe had nutrition. She did not. She had a five senses class and talking about animals and their senses and how they use their senses. So she did a lot of like sniffing things. Um, she did that and then unless he did uh, seasonal changes look at these butterflies that just emerged no no they got to dry a little bit first before they can come out but soon they're gonna be able to come fly. yeah they're just freshly freshly hatched that's exciting eh? the little mohawk. Should we go see if it runs? Yeah. Okay, let's go try it out on the track. No, it was needed more more elastics. I want to be fast. You want to add another elastic? Okay, right, let's see. Two more. Okay, let's see. Just wrapping up the kids had a lot of fun today we did the dinosaurs which was a bonus because normally we have to pay for that but the science center threw it in for free today which was a lovely bonus um zoe really liked it alexi really liked it too we both liked it it was fun so typically we have like the class in the morning we do a lunch and then we get free time today they threw in the dinosaurs we did the dinosaurs and then we went to do free time um, but the kids always get distracted in the toddler area which is like a little playground area so we uh, got sidetracked there for about an hour just toddler play area they, they it's got a fishing boat where they can fish for cardboard fish um, bass and pikes and stuff an hour but now we finally got up to another floor and we're gonna play here for a little while they played with some cars um, and now they're playing with this like light thing where they make different like light shows they're gonna have fun and then it'll be time to validate my parking and go home yeah. see what else we can do before we leave though
so this is a great example of like looking what's in your community um our science center runs this homeschooling program and so basically we pay for it's 50 dollars for 10 month membership it goes from september till june um once a month we get a free day like today where they host classes as if the kids were in school um so each kid is separated by grade level and they have a different age appropriate class for them and then we have like i said lunch and free time and then we also get a pass to come one other time during this the month it has to be monday to friday but we get another free pass for the month um so i think we end up with like nine classes nine or ten classes for the year and nine or ten free admissions that's 18 visits to the science center i know some people might go to science center 18 times a year but i our life is just too busy for that so this works out really well it's about half the price of a family membership and i don't have to pay when income so this is a great example of looking what's in your community you never know so check your why check your science center your art galleries your aquariums or zoos like whatever big attraction you have they might have a homeschool program and if they don't um definitely ask your homeschool friends if they would like to have something have them call in or if you're a big enough group or you want to go as a co-op or something look for a group rate so use what's in your community and just as long as you get a bunch of homeschoolers together it counts as a homeschool program in my books so that's what we're doing today we've had a lot of fun so far we enjoy gun science center it's a very inexpensive but highly educational opportunity and while the kids play i sit with other moms and we chat and like today we were comparing math curriculums and talking about what we liked about our curriculums that we didn't like and curriculums we've tried that were not great and ones that we did love that was entertaining we discussed um some struggles that we've had in our homeschooling because it's nice to have that like sympathetic ear who understands and so yeah this kind of stuff is not just for our kids it can also be for us especially if we're connecting with parents who also homeschool our kids it's like a little support group but our kids get to play while we hang out and just discuss life and make adult friends as well which is not easy but things like this help so how was that good good zoe what was your favorite thing you did today at the science center dinosaur the dinosaur exhibit no no hesitation, that was pretty cool, eh? Lexi, what was your favorite part? Mm, I really liked the fourth floor. Yeah, you like, that's your favorite floor at the Science Center, isn't it? Uh, yeah. We had fun. We're eating what's left of our lunches. Just, I like, I like sometimes I get, when I post pic videos of the kids' lunches and stuff, people are like, those lunches are huge! Um, it's it's their full snack lunches everything for the whole day right girls mm -hmm. yeah so whatever they don't eat at lunch it's often eaten on the way home because we have about 45 minute drive from town to home so they're gonna eat the rest of their lunch that's gonna be their snack and we're gonna start driving and heading home it was a good day mm -hmm. should we come back again yep yeah okay so that's it that's our day at the Science Center. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, make sure you subscribe and click the bell. And if you want to see other field trips that we go on that maybe I don't make YouTube videos for, uh, make sure that you are following me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.